man, I always say, man, somebody need to be studied, man. But hey, um, it, it's it's one of those things where it's like <coughs> the game, <coughs> the game ain't bad, but how we appear off lunch to go backwards every year. It hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good morning out there, 2K lad, man. Check this out, man. I love each and every last one of y'all. Y'all guys go so hard for me. We're going to have a big streaming tonight and all of that stuff, man. But one thing I got to tell y'all is we had a like goal yesterday. It was 500 likes. We came up short. Look, I even gave y'all an extra two hours, man. Like, I've been, I done done this video five times, and we're at 497 right now. We were at we were at uh 494 earlier. Now we at 497, 496. Two minutes ago we was at 49. But right now, as of the video, y'all see we at 497. We did not reach the light goal. Y'all killed it with the interaction and stuff like that. But the light goal has to be met for us to, you know, we ain't giving out no participation trophies around here. The light goal gotta be met. So I said 500 likes, we're gonna give away a copy of 2K. But don't worry, we're gonna run it bike. This is what we're gonna do for y'all today. If you already got 2K, because maybe you don't have 2K, so you don't, you wasn't incentivized. If you have 2K, I'll cash app you $50. How about that? Or you can choose to get the cash app $50. You can get 2K or whatever. Choose whichever you like. We up in the ante. We're giving away a copy of 2K. Or if you already got the game, we're going to cash app you $50, man. All we got to do is get to 500 likes on this video, man. That's it. And then just comment some down below, and I'm gonna tell y'all what to comment down below, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment some down below. Y'all know we're trying to go say it with me. <laughs> hey, nobody told y'all this today, y'all. My brothers, my sisters, my family love each and every last one of y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of having to start these videos like this. But a hey, long life, go rest in power. Uh, not, not James, but John Amos has gone on to glory. This one hits difference. My different, my condolences go out to the family of true legend, John Amos. Y'all might remember him as Freeman on the Players Club. Oh, he was the drill sergeant on Martin. I remember, you know, a lot of people remember him as the dad from Good Times. Um, the first place I saw John Amos though was uh, was on Mod, and uh, he was he was breaking down something very, very complex or what have you. And uh, you know because because uh esther Rowe was work worked for b arthur on mod and, and and so john amos was like uh he said something that was pretty profound too he was saying how how in in you know in in society at that time black men couldn't get jobs as readily as we can now so the black woman had to hold up the family in a lot of ways because she's the only one that could get a decent job cleaning houses and you know, watching after kids and doing things like that. So she's holding up the family while he's going out and getting a piece of job here, a piece of job that just hoping that he can get something to be able to contribute. And so it's like the dynamic was reversed to what have you. And that always stuck with me because it's just like, you think about your grandfather, you're like my, my, my grandmother cleaned houses and kept children for years. And my granddad, he was fortunate enough to get a job at a, you know, at a, at a mill, but at a sawmill or what have you. And it ended up being one of the, you know, it's the biggest sawmill in the South, but he he was fortunate enough to get one of those get a job doing that but before that it was difficult for him to get a job so that always stuck with me thinking about how hard it was you know like it's easy it's much easier for us now but at that point in time it, it wasn't and so that's something that always stuck with me and that just came from mob because they used to do from uh they used to do a lot of social commentaries on these shows and stuff like that back then but uh we don't do that no more man we don't talk about stuff like that we don't have the violin with steve urkel and all them about to cry talking about you know drugs and all that stuff man we don't do that stuff man anymore it's crazy but anyway that's what that's that one hits me a little bit different because you know we remember some james from good times but that was good times as a spinoff of the show mod uh, if you didn't know that, that's your, your history lesson for today. But going on, hey, rest in power, my good guy. Uh, hey, this one here, this one here hit a little bit different. Up next, man, hey, this right here was just funny to me, bro. This joint said, I'm glad I ain't enlist. These dudes would have got me, bruh. If they would have got you, just put got me, they got me in the comment section. Look, can you even see them dudes, bruh? You can't even hardly see them dudes, bruh. Like, bro, hey, they would have got me. I'm already done, bro. I'm up out of there, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Then, like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it ain't for me. It ain't for everybody. That definitely ain't for me, man. For that type of camouflage, that, that's that, bro. I seen dudes, it's, it's YouTube videos of dudes putting together, creating their own ghillie suits 
and they just sit out there in the woods and you look at them and it says try to find me and you can't find them bro until they start moving bro i'm i'm already done man so if you if you military or whatever like that man let me know if you ever had to put together your own type of camouflage or ghillie suit was it fun was it kind of crazy or were you amazed like that you really can't see people stuff like that and all that you know let me know man but up next hey this is the first thing that we got this 2k related man hey said i never played this was swag says swag's return never played 2k never played a 2k less in my life than uh than the first month of 2k 25 this stuff is miserable uh if the game play update doesn't adjust this stuff needing to be adjusted stuff needing to be adjusted stuff will go down uh in dust for another year with with others 2ks please one of the devs save us i'm begging 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 you put your loving hand out baby and then and my man says i agree bro the game is bad not even including the shooting bro the shooting is easier now bro shooting is easy you can probably shoot with your toes now man i don't know if we if we figured out we said for real it ain't just shooting shooting don't shooting not even the main issue that's true and said that's unfortunate or whatever but look shooting is not the main issue man we got to get rod woodson off the court we got to get prime time deon sanders off the court man we got to get daryl green off the court bro like stuff like that and then you got some fundamental issues the steel steel all this stuff we, we, we'll talk about all this stuff man there are some issues that need to be addressed but i don't believe that the game is super bad or broken man and if you have a problem shoot you need to be like the innovator of of rhythm shooting which is swag god he said when they thought that we were going to they were gonna win but then think again against the black market man look at swag godly in the corner the the, the, the shot we're gonna call him the shot father man yeah and hey, look 51 to 52 kick it out to him here you go trays up splash down look at that and you know he rhythm shot it because he's the first person that was using rhythm shooting and stuff like that man that's what got me on the rhythm shooting and all that man like like hey the fact that he had the cojones to take this shot and I, I would like to see what the contest numbers were on it but man i know the other team was like bro we 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 uh we we had enough contest on that and he said that's tough man because dude actually made him lean back like fat joe and uh it didn't even matter it was like he he, he said i contested the shot you know what he said it doesn't matter what you think it doesn't matter if you contested that man hey you you just you just missed that man and then uh my guy uh, my guy Solo, he just letting you know, if you're not rhythm shooting in NBA 2K25, I don't know what you're waiting for, man. And he say, hey, wait for, wait for pigs to fly because I'm not doing it. Hey, man, he say shooters going to shoot regardless. I get it. I got no clue how to time the tempo thing, man. It's tough, man. It's, it, it really is tough, man. He said, I went from 47% to basically 57%. Still have still have my game off, but my off games but actually feels like I missed time to push tempo when I miss. Like, you know, hey man, I, I can't get mad at it, man. If you're using rhythm shooting, I can feel it. I can see it, man. But some people don't don't want to use it. If you got a high three ball, bro, you don't even have to use it. There's no reason to do it. You can just use your regular uh, button. Do what works for you. Whatever makes the ball go into the basket, that's what you do. And uh, sometimes you're going to get put in the rim. Like, uh, like uh, my boy right here. This is right. This is what we're talking about right here, man. So first solo goes up and this is one of the craziest things that happened he goes up this is a glitch right here right like like we know that's a glitch he he, he strips him then the center gets it and then solo gets dunked out of bounds like he gets inserted into the rim we're gonna watch that one more time and uh dang so so like if we were to put the uh the damn shit that's how that would go right there we're gonna try it one more time man solo goes through gets damn. stripped and then shit oh man like oh he got inserted into the rim don't worry about it solo i get dunked on like that all the time too my boy so it, it's 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 all good man and then uh, like my man said he said hey but real quick how in the world can someone from so far behind you chase you down and hit um and hit you <laughs> from the back pause and cause you to lose the ball so often i freaking hate that animation um uh, all this but nothing for us to stop post scores that's a fact man he said i hate the i hate the strip uh from behind when it looks like you're wide open for a layup or a dunk and that's something that definitely needs to be taken care of in the game man it just it just it just is what it is and because of that my boy delay says hey 2k 20 2k gets worse every year needs to be studied like uh that's what my boy uh that's what my boy yad man always say man somebody need to be studied man but hey um it, it's it's one of those things where it's like <laughs> the game the game ain't bad but how we appear 
off lunch to go backwards every year is incredible. It, I, I don't understand it. They do eventually get it right most of the times, but most of the time we come out and we we go backwards every year. It just is what it is, man. So like we'll, we'll see how that goes, man. Maybe they, this first patch after season one is going to be big and it's going to change the game and it's going to be great. Hopefully it will. Hopefully the devs will be back. There'll be a lot of stuff going on, man. But hey, my boy, see it, the kid, man. See it says, hey, Zens are back in the game. Oh, joy. The day I have to cheat in the video game to make a jump shot is the day I quit playing that stuff. Uh, I hope they are able to stop these in the future. I just don't know what they're going to be able to do about it, man, because uh, because like I've seen people zenning and obviously they're going to attack. So it's probably going to be one of those things where where it's like people are going to attack rhythm shooting and they're going to use this. I hope it's not a, them using this, this as a tool to attack rhythm shooting because what most people did the last time when, when people were cheating with the Zen, they were zenning and they were doing it with the... Um, they were zen and they were doing it with the uh, shot stick last time where you had to locate the uh you know locate the green and then lock in your green a lot of people didn't um a lot of people didn't know that it really didn't like well a lot of people didn't know how to do it but they were able to exploit that by using the shot stick and making it pull at the same place every time or making it pull straight down every time or what have you and so you had two chances to get a green but the computer could get it right every single time this year they vary the the uh flick of the wrist so that that's that's much more difficult but you know they still have found a way to do it and uh, i just hope that this is not used as a tool to attack uh rhythm shooting because i don't think that rhythm shooting is is a big deal and uh and if it is it wouldn't make sense to me because they should just do what everybody said everybody said hey if it's just a couple of people cheating then it's not that big of a deal so let's not use it to uh and so it, then if it's a couple of people cheating using rhythm shooting like that it's not that big of a deal and let's, let's not use that to legislate rhythm shooting out of the game but hey it is what it is i'm gonna shoot the basketball regardless if i gotta go back to the button i use the button occasionally anyway depending on how tight the window is and stuff so i'm not just a pure rhythm shooter it just really depends on how i catch the ball where i catch it and you have to make a decision on the fly man so it's cool up next hey man they said caitlin clark dominating in the wreck bro bro what what is this bro 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 they got this dude. dude really out there with, with looking like Caitlin Clark, man. What? Like, what, what is this, bro? Get a bucket, Caitlin. Too. Get on that rim, Caitlin. Hey, right. hey, Caitlin out there getting on that rim. Look, man, would this be fun to y'all, man? Oh, I want to know. That if, if they had the female my players in the game for real, bro, and, and, and like, what, what would y'all really be thinking? Do y'all think they should be able to get on Caitlin for three? Y'all think they should be able to get on the rim like that? Should they just be relegated to layups? Should they have to be five? Nah, I don't know. See, Caitlin Clark is one of those where it wouldn't be too bad because she's like, I want to say she's six foot, right? Ain't she six foot? I don't know. But she's she's a taller uh, female, so it wouldn't look that that crazy with her doing it. But, you know, it it, it, it just like you got the five nine and the five eight point guards and stuff like but we got five nine dudes out here playing getting on the rim man so i don't know man i don't know it, it, it ain't gonna bother me one way or another but some people that might bother them man they did they wanted to be true to the game true truly uh true, you know true expression of real life so I, I it really ain't gonna make me no difference if women was dunking on dudes and do it, it, it i wouldn't care because half of the people that's dunking on the game can't dunk for real so it is what it is up next hey he said grinding says hey i need people to raid i need people to raid after twitch streams my smaller creators out there who just want a chance put your twitch in the comments and tell me what you I mean, what what you be streaming we'll tap in okay what you be streaming? what do you stream we'll, we'll tap in man he's just trying to help some people out man because let me tell you something it is hard to get noticed out there especially with the discoverability on twitch and these things it's, it's just difficult man so we'll see how that goes man up next that boy hanky the tanky is talking about how broken he's trying to show you how broken uh starting five is man like listen bro when you get starting five you go in there if you got a point guard with a high three ball you can't be stopped and he's playing with the cheat code it, it really don't matter what you got once you play with the celtics bro when you play with the celtics I played against the Celtics twice yesterday, right? I got beaten. And I'm like, bro, your bots are beating me. That's all that's happening. I'm getting beat by your bots. Like, Jason Tatum was just killing anybody that was on him. So, boom, that was that, right? And then I had, I went and picked Denver. Denver, uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, uh, Joker couldn't score on 
on nobody. He couldn't even score on Derek White. So I'm like, what's going on? Then I picked the uh, I picked the Celtics and played somebody. Bro, I beat dude by 40. I just quit because I was like, this ain't even right because I'm not really beating you. It's like the game is beating you. I can get a ball to Jason Tatum and he can score 40. I get a ball to Jalen Brown, he can score 40. I get a ball to Porzingis on the roll every time and he's going to dunk the basketball. So it's like, like it's just not even fun. And like you said, if you add a point guard, Drew Holiday actually dives to the rim on breaks and stuff like that like he should this is celtics versus celtics action right here and it's just bad so like people only play with certain teams in there but you can get away with some crazy stuff in starting five man so hey i i just say uh you know and the crazy thing is for some reason rhythm shooting is not broken in starting five but uh you know like like it's consistent but you can't you, it's not gonna let you shoot over people but if you button shooting in there you just shoot right over people man it's, it's absolutely insane but hey it, there, it there is, is what it is, man. Anyway, up next, we got that boy Badgie Plug It, man. He's talking about something right here, man. We're going to let him talk about Proven Grounds and how Proven Grounds is broken. Let's listen. Talk to him, Badge! There's definitely something wrong with the Proven Grounds leaderboards on 2K25. I want to show you all. So you go over to my rank, and you see I've got 212 games played, 199 wins, which means I've lost 13 out of 212 games. If you go over to the season rankings, 2v2, You'll be able to find me on here. This is not Photoshop or anything you see. I've got a 93.9 win percentage with 212 games played on here. As you go up, you know, there's 86 games played, 85 with less win percentage that are higher ranked. This dude's got 74. Or you can even go to the number two ranked guy with only about 60 more games played, has lost about 30% of his games in his number two. Now, I do understand there's probably some sort of behind-the-scenes point system where it determines the quality of the games you play and gives you more rank for beating better people, right? But of course, that's not really up to me at the same time. And also, it just doesn't make sense that this many people would have somehow way better quality of games than I have. You know what I'm saying? Like 74 games, 85, 86. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, also... You see right here, Chad Benz. I lost to him last night. I was on my center build. I was playing with Chuck. And I was probably like 26 or 27 in the world. I lost to him, a guy that is literally right there next to me on the leaderboards. And I fell like six spots. Like, how does that make any sense at all? There's something fundamentally broken with this mode. And yes, there's some glitches where you can get your, your level to disappear. And then you can play like your no leveled or it just glitches itself. You know, there's a whole bunch of things that's going on right now with the ranked mode that we could talk about that's messed up. But I think the number one thing that is broken or needs to be added is some sort of point system so we can see where we're at here. Like, there's no way that this many people have a much higher quality of games than me when we're walking into the same place and playing. Like, Ave Mario, look at this, 86.2 win percent, 174 games played. How does that make sense that he's there and I'm here? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that person, like, oh, they're such a bad person or whatever. I'm just saying I think the leaderboard, there's something going on, obviously, as you can see. Anyway, you guys let me know how you feel. So, I don't really know what to tell you about that one because we're not privy to the behind-the-scenes MMR, you know, numbers and stuff like that. It's just like League of Legends. Like, when you play League of Legends, it tells you when you win, you uh, when you win, you gaining this much LP. When you lose, you lose this much LP. And then it tells you where your next rank is and stuff like that. But there's a points, it's obviously a points ranking system and you can see where you are in that whole hierarchy. So maybe he's right. We just need to see what the points are showing and stuff like that. I couldn't tell you why, and I don't think anybody will really be able to tell you how that's happening when, when, um, when we don't have any privy to that background information if we did i think we could but uh once we do uh, until we do uh we just won't know man and last but not least we got my boy po boy saying saying bro i am not you know what i'm saying i ain't no rhythm shooter he's showing you that you don't have to be a rhythm shooter in order to get buckets out here man uh, uh, uh. kick it to him kick it back oh move with it oh okay a little bit of movement here okay behind the back pull up drink Y'all already know it's good, man, because uh, because it said the excellence right there, man. And like we said, bro, you don't. I, I think that at this point in the game, you do not have to use rhythm shooting. I really think that you could use. I think I just use it because that's what I'm comfortable with now. Because when I was shooting with the uh, regular shot, my jump shot was broken. But now, 
I'm shooting normally and it's and it's just fine like with with rhythm shooting and that's what I got used to I think it's just because I had such a bad experience with with button shooting from the beginning that I, I I hesitate to do that but I'm sure I could shoot the same if not better with the button than I am with rhythm shooting actually I think I'm just what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna go in the gym and then in the wreck and I'm gonna play with brute them and I'm just gonna shoot with the uh, button and just see how it goes from the right side I I'm, I'm probably don't hardly ever miss period rhythm shooting button or whatever it's from the left side man it's just hard for, it's harder for me to see my cue or whatever and i just don't know why and I, I maybe i haven't labbed it enough and maybe you know i'd use rhythm shooting as a crutch but for whatever reason it just that's just how it is man but anyway let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man like uh I, I don't know why he took that shot right there we're gonna fast forward to the end of the game so y'all can see what happened here uh but uh yeah I, like we, we play the game you play the game the only thing you can do is play the game in front of y'all everybody has the same opportunity to use rhythm shooting if they would like to like you you just do whatever you want to do man like I, and don't judge nobody else that's what i think i mean it's just a video game we got our same everybody got the same opportunity everybody can do the same thing you could you could use rhythm shooting you could use button shooting you could do whatever man so let me know what y'all think down in the comment section uh yeah we we definitely took that l on that one man but hey it is what it is man hey, it, hey. did i miss i think i missed a shot or something that probably could have secured it yep i definitely missed the shot so if i didn't miss my shot ah if i had a button shot i probably would have hit it man it is what it is man let me know what y'all think down in the comment section hopefully y'all enjoyed the show make sure we get the 500 likes so we can give away that free stuff and i'll holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.